Hi everyone, this is a publisher tutorial. We're looking at importing a large Word document into Microsoft Publisher, and this is computer tutoring. So let's just have a look um, at the screen. So if I just share this screen here, uh, now we can see we've got the publisher document, and down here I also have the Word document. So the problem is, is when you import a, a file from Word into Publisher, it is fraught with lots of difficulties and problems, etc. So the rule of thumb is you do all of your, your, your text in, in Word. You can do certain images and stuff if you want to, and that could be the subject of another tutorial. But you basically do all of your text in Word, um, and then you do all of your layout in, in Publisher. Now, one of the things you might be tempted to do, and I was doing this on a recent um, training course, is to put the breaks in, you know, so you might notice in Word you can go to insert and you've got pages and put page breaks in. If you do, what generally happens is publish will create extra pages, or I found that to be the case. So what I suggest we should do is have the Word document, put your headings and everything like that if you need to, and even pop in a table of contents, it will help you as well uh, at the beginning just to know where your pages are. Okay, let me just close that one down. Okay, uh, the next thing, or oh, just one quick thing as well in the Word, is just make sure that you set up the page size. So if I just uh, minimize that, and that's a, a lovely um, Van Gogh there, just open this one up here. So in Word, I've set up this particular page size. If I go to layouts and then size, um, and then just uh, go to like more paper sizes here, you can see that I've got this is six by nine just here, yeah? So you need to set that up and the margins as well. I've got this as 0.5 margin. So this is like a little book size there. Okay, let me just close that down. Let's go back to Publisher. So here we go. Now, in Publisher, uh, what you need to do is if we start an A4 document, just need to make sure that your pages and, and your setup is the same. So we're going to click on page design just here at the top. So just page design here. Uh, and then we're going to go to size and then we're going to go down to and click on page setup here at the bottom okay so here's our page setup options just here I don't know if I zoom in if you can see this hopefully you can but um, this is our page setup at the moment it's all in centimeters so I need to change that let me just cancel that I'm going to go to file and we go down to um, options just at, down at the bottom just here so just options just here so click on that um, and then we're going to go to advanced and then just here you can see the option for centimeters okay so we're going to click on centimeters and choose inches so let's go to the inches that's great click on ok so now when we go up to size and then we go down to page setup just here we're all in inches so that's good so what we need to do here if I just zoom in uh, under the width we're going to have six under the height nine and then we need to just do the same with the paper size as well. So make sure the paper size is custom. And we can change the width to six, the height to nine. That's great. Um, yeah, that's good. You can click on OK. And that's it. And then that's that all set up there. Great. We can also go to the margins here and then go down to custom margins. And then just have a quick setup. And you can see my custom margins are all 0.5 already, uh, which is great. Uh, so that's good. So I can click on OK. Yeah, that's good. So now it's ready to import the document. So make sure you clicked on the page and press the space bar. It's a nice way to quickly add in um, a big text box that will line up with the margins. So there we go. Uh, just backspace to get rid of that initial full stop. Uh, now what we're going to do is insert our file. So it, if I just, there we go. So if I now just click on the insert button, you can see here at the top. And then insert file just over here. That's what we're going to click on. So insert file. Let's just go to my desktop. And there's my Laura Mipson file here. Uh, I'll make them available just on the links down below. There we go. So I'll import the document. And fantastic. If you look over on the left-hand side, it automatically generates the pages here. Now, I just need to say that you really need to have sort of Excel 2007, the new Excel. Um, the Word 2007 format for this to work, not Excel. <laughs> so the Word, so that would be the DOCX file, the DOCX file, the XML file to, 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 to be able to import this and, and get this to work.
All right, now let's have a look at, and you can see the problems here. Now, just to explain, all of these are linked text boxes. There's no such thing as like page breaks and things in Publisher. It's all about layout, etc. So it's really difficult to try to match them up. So what you basically do is you just adjust the text boxes and insert pages. So I can give you an example here. Say, for instance, this beginning one here, if I just want um, that beginning to start on a new page, I'll scroll down to the bottom and I'll have to drag this up a little bit. Uh, just adjust it to where I want it to go. That's fine. And now I can see beginning on this page here. And then I can scroll down. I can see introduction. I want that to do on a new page. I can drag this up. Now, it is a bit of a pain if you have many chapters, but it will help, you know, just a little bit. It will speed things up a bit. There we go. And I can see my chapter one uh, there. I've got this. I need to chapter one to start on a new page. I can go down and I can drag up like so, and there you have it. Okay, so just one little thing. Uh, if I go now and I wanted, say, chapter one to start on an odd page so that when I'm looking at the book, it's the page that's on the right, which is a good place for a chapter to start. You might not want to, but if you did, what you need to do is insert an extra blank page. So um, if I go up here to page three, just over here, and then, there we go, right click on that, I'm gonna go to insert page, and then just make sure you can see here it says after the current page. The number of pages one after the current page. That's good. So I'm just going to click on OK. And there we go. So now this is page four. This is a totally blank page. But then on page three, if I click on it, you can see that this, I click on this little button just down here. I'll just highlight it just to make it clear what I'm doing. Just this one just here. Uh, if I click on it, it takes me straight away to page five, chapter one starting on page five. And then eventually I can go on and I can actually um you know add things in as well so that's good just to watch out at the end you might have extra pages etc you know if i go down to the end and i click on this um, um yeah you see i've got this as overset text because i've put in extra pages in i will have to increase um uh, like put create another page i'd have to put another page here afterwards like so and then just make sure that i link this box if i just zoom back to give you an idea so if I go down and I can sort of zoom in here and just zoom back here, you see this little tiny little ellipsis just here. That means that I need to link this text box to another one or create a new one. So just very quickly, I just click once on it like so. Go to page 15 like so. Uh, and I should just be able to just click once on the page here. There we go. And you can just, uh, just adjust the size of it, et cetera. Just get that working. Um, like so there we go. You just adjust in. There we go. Uh, if I just drag that down a bit, uh, oh, it's quite a lot there. Maybe I need to, uh, that's good. I might need another page as well. <laughs> Let's just, uh, there you go. Let's just insert another page over here. Go back to page 15 here. Let's just zoom back a bit. I'll see the whole page in the window. And then I'll just link that to the new page here. Oh, okay, it's just a, it's just a little bit needed, really. There we go. Brilliant. So there you go. Um, afterwards, uh, you're correct, trying to create a book. If you haven't already done so, you can click, click on how to create an A5 booklet uh, in Publisher. You can right click and view two page spreads. So you can actually see the pages as they would in a book. Uh, look like in a book and again you'd have to go and adjust your table of contents just make sure that pages match up you might need to change this a little bit so I hope this helps hopes it's informative if you've felt so then give us a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe click the notification so you don't miss a thing uh, if you haven't already done so please check our live online training uh, we do these sessions in fact just like this we're using uh, zoom technology here or the, the zoom application find it really good for um, sharing screens and uh, um, yeah, tearing screens, etc. Uh, having nice, cool virtual backgrounds as well, uh, and also, uh, yeah, just uh, recording sessions as well like this, so that uh, after the training course, you can come back to it. Great. Nothing else to say apart from thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm.